Hey, this is Trace. I've had my Zoom Q2N for about a year now, and just recently I took it out in the field to put it through its paces. Now for me, the best way to evaluate a camera or microphone is to use it in a project. So in this video, I'm gonna take the file from the Zoom Q2N and import it into Cubase. And there we'll do a few modifications to it and then use it as a foundation for a project. So let's go to the screen and I'll see you back here in a few minutes. All right, here is the file I have downloaded from the Zoom Q2N. Let's import it into Cubase. And the fastest way to do this is to drag and drop. So here's Cubase. And let's drag and drop. All right, there it is. Okay, and let's go ahead. Excellent. Now we don't need the video track, so let's go ahead and remove it. And let's make this a little bigger so we can see it. Uh, okay, and one of my new norms is to have my flute track green and that makes it more easily identifiable in the project. Now, let's give it a play. All right, now I notice that that signal is a little hot, so I'm gonna reduce the track volume to about 10. And I'm also noticed that in this area of the soundtrack it's a lot hotter than the rest of it so I'm gonna use a poor man's version of compression to bring it down okay so now that portion of the wave file is more in line with the rest of the wave and to put this back all into one piece again let's bounce this selection so it'll be all one piece instead of three separate pieces. And we're going to go to Project, and we're going to select... Uh, we're going to Audio, and we're going to select Bounce Selection. I said Replace. So now this is all one piece again. Now, the next thing I want to do is add some reverb to this. Now, I usually play with live effects and that's using a digital effects pedal plugged into my mixer but since this is recorded out in the field I didn't have that option so let's add reverb now I'm gonna select the inserts and let's select reverb and we have a choice with my version of Cubase with Revelation and Roomworks I'm more used to Roomworks so let's select it and select the Cathedral preset. That has been my, my most uh, often used preset. And let's give it a listen. Excellent. I mean, I am extremely impressed at how well the Zoom 2QN recorded the audio for this. Hopefully you heard the same thing I did, because to my ears, the quality from the microphones in this unit is exceptional, especially close in from about three, four feet and under. And for my projects, about six feet away is about as far away from the unit as I'd want it to be to get the quality that I want. And in the video right after this one, I'll be using the sound file that I just edited as the foundation for the soundtrack. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.